In this episode, I want us to start by creating our next 14 application. And since we will be using shared CN components for UI, that is why you see me on this particular website, ui.shardcn.com. So what you need to do is to go to documentation, then you go to installation. From here, you can select Next.js as the framework and we'll have instructions of how we can go about creating a next uh, 13 application and also adding shard cn ui to our application so the first step is to create the application using this command and i can copy and i click on npm i have this folder right here called stesavi this will be the folder for our application and what i like to do is to open this folder with command prompt on windows and uh, you should make sure that that folder is in small cap so right here i'll type cmd hit enter and from here i'll say code space and a period hit enter and that opens that folder on visual studio code from visual studio code i can click right here go to terminal and create a new terminal so we'll be using this new terminal right here for every other command so i'll paste whatever we copied but i don't want to call our application my app i want the name to be the name of this particular folder therefore i'll go back using the arrow here then i'll delete my app and i will use a period and now when we do this when we hit enter the name of our application will be the name of this folder right here so i hit enter now would you like to use src directory i'll say no would you like to use app router I'll say yes. Now this is like the new version of Next.js. It's available in Next 13 as an unstable version and in Next 14 it's stable. So we'll go ahead and say yes. Would you like to customize uh, the default import alliance? I'll actually say yes so that we use at default uh, import alliance. And right here, I'll go with at. And as you can see, it have already started installing um, next JS and all these other uh, dependencies that we will need so this might take some time now going back to the website we will have this other command right here which we will use to add shard cn to our project but let's first wait for this to complete uh, and see what we have so now we have a successfully installed next JS and we have created our application right here and to test if uh, everything is okay we can run this application by saying npm run dev and this will start the server on our localhost 3000 so control then click and that will open the application on your default browser so this is what you should be seeing after a successful installation and creation of the project Next is to add shard cn. So I'll come back here and I'll copy this command for npm and then I will come right here. I can stop the server using control C. Then I'll paste that command and hit enter. This will ask us a bunch of questions. Would you like to use TypeScript? And I'll say yes. Which style uh, would you like to use? Um, I'll go with the default. And then here you can choose your default base color. Here I'll go with slate. Uh, and then where is your global CSS file? It's in app as stroke global CSS, right? We can confirm that by clicking on app and this is our global CSS file. So I'll go ahead and hit enter uh, right here. Uh, would you like to use CSS variables for colors? Yes. Where is your tailwind uh, config.js? So if you uh, come right here, you'll notice that we have tailwind config, but it is not .js, it is .ts. So right here, you can click on tab to make that line active. Then you'll remove JS and say TS, okay? And then you will hit enter. Configure the import alias for components, say yes. Configure the import alias for utils, say yes. Are you using React Server components? Say yes. 
uh, write configuration for component dot json i'll just actually click yes so it's installing shard cn in our uh, application so success and project initialization is complete now if you go to tailwind config.ts there are a bunch of stuff that were added here uh, for shard cn and uh, we don't need to actually worry about this file for now so just close that and we can run the application again and see if there were any changes that shard cn did to our app so npm run dev i'll go back right here go to this and let's refresh and as you can see it's no longer dark mode it changed to this because we installed shard cn library so now if you come to app and then you go to page so this is like the uh, home page for our application this is what is showing on our browser then layout this is like where our app begins this is where we import the fonts and so on and structure our application for now all i want to do is to come to page and we'll actually clean everything that is right here starting from this main tag all the way to the very bottom and i'll use shift click then delete delete everything then right here i'll say div and we can say home page like that and i'll also remove this import like that i save that file then right here you'll see we have this components folder this was added by shard cn and what it did is that uh, whenever we install a certain component from shard cn it will automatically show in right here so let me show you a, a brief example so that you understand how shard cn works so if i come back right here you'll see now we just have home page and we go to shard cn now we have this components uh, tab so we go to components and from here you'll see that we have the different components alert alert dialog badge button we have all these uh, components which we'll be making use of to build up our application and right now if i click on button so this is how we make use of shard cn components we scroll down here we install a component each at a time so if i click on here we can uh, click on npm and if we come back right here we can open a new terminal here so we have two now and we'll be keeping one open so that we can install those shard cn components and if i click enter that will install our button and add it to this components folder in our application so this might seem like a lot of work but a shard cn is very powerful because these components are highly customizable using tailwind css and also it makes our app to be lightweight because we only bring in components that we need and we don't care about those components that we don't need so if you see now here at components we now have ui and we have this button right here which is highly customizable you can come right here and change some stuff change the colors and so on which is really awesome so if i come here to the page we can actually show a button easily we can now say right here button and you can see we have this recommendation from components ui button when i click on that and you can check on how to use this button in this documentation so if i scroll down here you'll see the way you import it and the way you use it so we have different uh, variants so we have an outline we have a link we have the primary button and so on so for this primary if i click on code all we need to do is to say button then we include the text in there so right here if i say home and i save and we come back to our application right here you'll see now this button was added right here and we can have some various props right here like variant and we have the various variants we have primary we have secondary so you can add it as secondary and it will change to these we have a light background we also have outshine 
we save and you'll see now it's an outline and many more we have also we can display it as a link we save and it's a link when i hover it's underlined you can also show it as a ghost meaning that it will not have any styles it will display as text but it's still a button so yeah we have these shard cn components and this is how we will be using them but for now before we start our building up our ui using shard cn i want us to add authentication in our application so next we'll start seeing how we can add authentication using clack auth 